The universe wants you to prosper, and it will exert all its efforts to make that happen. The thought, I pray my heart doesn't grow weary in the work, but that I will remember you are with me. You are beside me, giving me strength when I feel like giving up. I pray that I will execute the divine plan with you and see the promise in Jesus' name. Amen. Pay special attention to how you feel whenever you observe anything unexpected or out of the ordinary, because it usually serves as a presage of what's to come. He has shown you, O oh mortal, what is good, and what does the Lord require of you? To act justly, and to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. Micah 6 verse 8 Because if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Prayer for today Heavenly Father, as we enter this new week, we humbly ask for your presence, guidance and blessings. Please fill us with your peace, strengthen us with your love and help us to walk in alignment with your will. May this week be filled with your grace and opportunities to shine your light to those around us. In Jesus' name, Amen. Your angel is saying that when someone is truly in love, their eyes light up with joy and affection. They are attentive, caring, and eager to spend time with their partner. However, when someone is pretending to be in love for their own benefit, their eyes may not reflect the same level of affection. They may appear distant, uninterested, or even calculating. Regardless of the reason, God wants you to know that you should not let this situation define you. If you will not acknowledge it now, then it can leave you feeling isolated and alone. It will be challenging to confront someone who is pretending to be in love with you because you have invested a lot of time and emotion into this relationship. Well, as God says, the first step you should take is to confront your relatives and get to know why they are doing this and try to resolve the issue peacefully. It is essential to take a step back and evaluate the situation objectively. Look for signs that they are only interested in their own needs. God is letting you know that they are acting out of fear and insecurity. They are not realizing the impact of their actions on you. They always talk about themselves and ignore your feelings and opinions. They only show affection when it benefits them. Even if you feel hurt and angry, God wants you to approach the situation with compassion and empathy. All of your days have already been written in God's book. When you go through a disappointment, don't stop on that page. Stay the course. Keep believing. You may be tired, discouraged, and frustrated, but don't give up on your future. Our God is faithful. It's likely you know which choice you should make, but you're procrastinating so you don't upset someone else. Ask heaven for guidance, and then make the choice that celebrates who you truly are. The guardian angels are sending you this message because they want you to grow and provide you with the information you need to move forward. The type, yes, if you believe in God. God bless you.